amazing webinar we have for you today. Uh, so basically, you all have seen the brief. It is simply exam preparation 2.0. And it's wonderful to see all of you here as usual. And uh, as you know, the speakers for today are Mr. Parikshit Dhanda and Ms. Shilpa Singh. Uh, I don't think they need any introductions at this point because all of you have seen their faces and heard from them quite a bit at this point. But I will still do a little bit of what I can try and do. So together, they both share 40 years of experience, maybe more than that today. And they're both leading career coaches in the country. And I don't believe there's anybody better than them to kind of help you and guide you as to what are the next steps. How do we prepare for these exams? How do we, how do we prepare ourselves for this uncertainty that's coming in? And the reason why we have selected exam preparation one, yes, uh, the upcoming boards are very important for everybody. And we have been receiving so many queries. So how do we do this? No matter what counseling session we've done, one constant concern for every parent, for every student has been, how are they going to study? We don't even know if the board exams are not, are they happening? Are they not happening? Because we know, you know, Maharashtra government, they've postponed it. So all eyes are set on the CBSC and ICC boards. Are they going to happen at all? So there are a lot of questions in everybody's minds. And I really hope that, you know, this session can be of a great help to all of you, right? As you move on to take those exams uh, beginning 2021. Of course, there are more than just, there's more than exams that you need to worry about. There's so much more that is on your plate right now. And we are going to be discussing about that, talking about that very shortly. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, if you can just say a few words. Good evening. Good evening. I hope we're audible and visible to everyone. And uh, I saw I saw a bunch of yeses for people who are those who might not be able to just try maybe reloading the page. But yes, lots of interesting and exciting information to come your way. Some that reiterates what we are, um, what you already know, and some that will act as a reminder. But there is a lot of there is a lot on your plate, as as Raghav said, that, that you need to be able to work on. So, yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you, um, Shilpa. Thank you, Raghav. Um, yes, uh, there is a lot on their plate, definitely. Um, however, um, you know, dear students, if you use these techniques that um, we share with you or the techniques that have worked in the past, there is no way that you'll not be able to have success. All right. Now, of course, you know, the cliched statement success is relative, of course, for each one of us. What is success? What do you how do you term success for someone? It could be 99 and that's success for me. I pass my board exams and that's success. OK. All right. Um, so each to his own there. Um, however, um, there are something called, you know, the things called safe strategies. And Shilpa, my dear colleague, is going to be sharing those safe strategies also. While we discuss these strategies, we'll also be sharing, you know, it's something when you when you listen to people and you kind of resonate with them. Okay, that, that also is important in your time. That wow, I'm not the only one, you know, who's feeling like this. Okay, there are others. So that's it's it's not like suddenly you feel wow, but it is you feel better. All right. So so we'll be discussing a lot of things um in the course um, of, of of the the webinar. All right. Um, over to you, Raghav. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma'am. So basically, just to set some context, right, uh, for today. So of course, we do have examinations prepared, uh, the whole topic prepared for you. But beyond that, you know, uh, what we're talking about, what you have on your plate is uh, applications that you need to worry about. Uh, you know, what sort of exams, the entrance exams that you need to worry about. Then, of course, there are financial aid options that you need to think about. So there are little things at the back of your mind. If you're not thinking about them right now, your parents are absolutely thinking about this because ultimately it's them who are going to be sending you for this higher education, no matter where you're going. You might be studying in India, you might be going abroad, no matter where it is. So they are absolutely concerned at this point. So I really feel that this is where this can be of great help to you. Right. Uh, one minute. Let me just. Uh, I think you access to that, ma'am. Uh, the slides. Yes. Hang on, let me see if that will work. From my yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. we're, we're yeah. good right now. I think Perfect. you should be able to control the movement. Otherwise, just tell me. I'll move it for you. 
Yeah, ma'am, working just ah, fine. Okay, super, super. Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. So as you can see, these are all the things uh, we have listed for you. Uh, pardon the numbering, but I think it's apt because they all are number one on everybody's list. So let's just keep it at that. And uh, I'll just hand it over to PD sir now to kind of just walk you through quickly on what these things are and how important each one is now. If this is done intentionally, one, 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 then <laughs> I, I really like that. Yeah. I mean, ever since the slide came up, and I've been wondering, okay, all right, so this is like one, 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 one. So there is, I, I don't get to choose, right? Okay, everything is important. Dear friends, dear students, as Shilpa, she already has the control, all right? She calls the shots, so she has access to it, and she's already named it one, 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 all right? <laughs> <laughs> so Raghav and I are basically, Raghav has a small role in the entire movie. I have also been, basically I'll be there for about um, 10 minutes, um, which is that, you know, she's the director and the producer. And therefore I have a very limited role. So let me play that role before the director and producer. And she also happens to be the main protagonist, right? She takes role. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, dear students, what we are talking about, and of course, Shilpa is going to talk about, um, what are what are few things that are on top of a student's mind, a twelfth class student, right? I've got my immediately thereafter. Right now, in December, I will have my school exams. Maybe I could have board exams in December, or I'm about to have the board exams, or the board exams can happen in the um, in the month of January. We also have to submit our files. Then there'll be practicals coming in. Then I also have my applications, which is Indian liberal arts and science applications. I also have what is called my international applications, right? If if you're applying, all right. Um, then you have certain entrance exams. Uh, we'll get to hear about them as in when they are happening. But but I can't wait for them to kind of you know, show up one fine day. I hope all of you are already studying and preparing for those entrance exams. Then, of course, it's like it's been a tough year. I mean, we are so used to that statement that this has been a tough year. I'm assuming, number one, that all of you, it is almost like I put on weight. Now, it will be suddenly one day I'm not going to be be able to shed that weight. OK, it has to be a process which Shilpa is going to talk about. How do you? How do you um, go through that exercise? So number one is getting to know what I need to do. Then second is prepare for that and then follow through and then practice. Of course, my dear colleague is going to talk about it. However, along with this is also understanding what colleges, what programs, where am I applying? And then, of course, scholarships, financial aid and so many things for a 12th class student. All of this is on your plate, but it is doable. It is doable, my dear friends. All you have to do is organize yourself. And, and if you see, I, I love that slide. It's that to-do list, all right? I am going to plan. I'm going to plan my days. I'm going to plan my week. I'm going to plan my month. And let me assure you, and Shilpa will resonate. And of course, Raga will also resonate with that. If you are able to handle your days, trust me, your weeks and months will take care of themselves. All right. Uh, next is, is uh, can we have, uh, you know, while we are talking, let me also share, uh, you know, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Shilpa, thank you so much. Uh, Director, sir, can you, can you allow me the next um, slide, please? All right. Raga has become more director with me. So, <laughs> good, good, good beginning. Therefore, let me let me also say uh, if you already applied to Mindless Scholarship, dear students, great. If you have already applied, brilliant. If you haven't, this cannot get any bigger. This is Mindless Scholarship Hunt worth 25 crores and 3,000 plus scholarship for class 12 students. Over. Next, please. So before Shilpa takes over and shares um, the, 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 the good strategies with you, let me take this opportunity to share more with you. Raghav, can we move further, please? Um, so yes, we know 
um, then there are these universities, these very well-known branded, um, you know, so-called emerging and um, already um, very well-known universities, which are offering these scholarships and financial aid. And of course, on top of that, Minder has also come forward to give you 10 scholarships to 10 students. And these scholarships will be, it is a destination, meaning destination India, but a college of your choice. It could be anything, wherever you go, dear students. And, um, and another brilliant thing, you will get to know within a few days, the jury members who will finally select these 10 students. And these jury members are well-known educationists from India and UAE. Yeah, next one, please. There are three things that we are looking at. All right, simple. Simple three things. Your career fitment, which is your, which is your career fitment, we get to see through your scholarship assessment, then your academic history, and last is your profile, all right? And we look at these three things, and then accordingly, these universities look at you. Great. We already shared um, the mind the list with you. If you if you haven't taken it, please take it right away. Um, and 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 all the best to you. Oh, next one, please. So this is how it looks like. Scholarship.mindler.com. Please go ahead and apply, and may the best guy of or or the best lady win. This is how it looks like. Scholarship dashboard. You go complete your profile, then take the scholarship assessment. In your scholarship yes, students, scholarship references start from 10th of December. What's the date today? Uh, today is what? Eight? Eight, eight. Two days to go, 48 hours to go before you start filling up your scholarship references. And finally, you wait for your scholarship result, which will be in January. And um, we will make a big noise about it. All these thousands of students who will get scholarships and their parents will also be um happy uh, last one please what are the key dates um the registration and profile deadline already you know that talent evaluation assessment which is the scholarship assessment we are open till 20th of december please go ahead and do it right away and then scholarship preferences which start on 10th of december you go fill up your university uh, wish list scholarship wish list and then the results will be announced on 15th of january and um, wow, these are the well-known universities which are participating. And um, when on 10th, when we open, you never know, there will be a few more surprises. All right. Um, these universities are well for you. These are well-known and emerging universities of our country. Great. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Rajiv, thank you so much for asking that question. So brilliant. So once we take this, does that mean I don't have to give any incentive there? No, it's not that. There is, this scholarship is like um, a kind of a conditional offer, all right? Just like when you apply to any good university across the world, they give you a conditional offer. What is a conditional offer? Subject to your fulfilling the conditions. Number one, that you will clear your 12th class. Number two, whatever um, you have filled up, all the data, that is true, okay? You, it, it has to be um, um, uh, validated, number two. Number three, if the university has any selection criteria, any selection criteria that the university follows, for example, there is an aptitude assessment or there is something called an interview, you have to clear that. All right. It, this test does not replace the university selection system. It is like a conditional offer. Wow. You have arrived. And therefore, if you follow those conditions, the scholarship is with you. All right. This scholarship assessment cannot replace the university selection system. Right. This has to be. Thank you so much for asking that question, Rajiv. Um, that was really, uh, thank you. Uh, Shilpa, over to you for, for sharing the best strategies, of, which is um, exam preparation 2.0. Over to you. Thank you so much. And uh, students, as, as uh, Parikshit sir mentioned, even though all the things are on your plate and, and the most critical element of what he said is that fact that 
the key to success for anything is planning. All right. So whether it is uh, how to study for your boards, whether it is how to be able to get ready for an entrance exam. And remember, some of the entrance exam preparations that you will also do alongside, which you should be doing, will have op overlapping information. So you're not going to be doing anything completely out of whack or completely different. So it's important for you to be able to keep that in mind as well. All right. And keep keep that process clear. So just the other element that you need to remember is any exam, whether it is your board exams that are coming now or it is an entrance exam that you are preparing for, it checks what you remember, not what you know. All right. So this is not a testament of your knowledge. You may be very knowledgeable about something, but at the time of the exam, if you are not able to remember it, there is going to be a problem. Therefore, you need to be able to build a system in which you remember more. Instead of uh, looking at the entire syllabus like this giant mountain that needs to be conquered, the only thing that happens when you look at that is you think, oh my goodness, I have so much to do. Oh my goodness, I'm never going to finish this. Which is where what Parikshit sir said becomes important is breaking down your syllabus. And I hope you've already begun that process of break it down and do some bit every single day. So that means either it's making notes and going over notes or it's being able to look at worksheets that have been done and going over and solving problems, whether it is revising and reading the main points of a chapter again or and putting away chunks of it on a regular basis, take, go, get, going and putting it away. A really great trick that works for me when I know I have a lot of work to do and that little picture of the to do list actually made a little bit of, uh, you know, something that I'd like you to be able to do. Write down for your month what you would like to accomplish. Now, be realistic about it. Don't be like, I will finish everything in one month. It's you've got to have to be realistic. Break it down. And if a month seems like a long time for you to be able to plan and you can't do that and it becomes overwhelming because you're not able to figure out whether you'll be able to cover that much in a month, break it down and just do two weeks or do just this week. And if you say that today is Tuesday and I'm going to cover the next seven days and I'm going to do the till next Tuesday, this is what I'm going to do, then it will be easier for you to break it down and go backwards and do a daily plan. So if I want to cover five chapters by next Tuesday, then I need to be able to go backwards and say by Monday, I should have done this by Sunday. I should do this by Saturday. I should do this and by other by Friday, etc. and work backwards to tomorrow and start. All right. So it becomes very important to not look at the whole syllabus and get panicked by it. Break that syllabus down. There will be a lot of stuff that you've already covered that you're comfortable with. Don't freak yourself out about that. Look at things at your notes. Make the revision on through your notes first and work on doing that. Ensure that you are working on your fundamentals. Now, remember, the reason why we're saying that to you is also important for two reasons. A large part of your entrance exams, as well as what you study in college, will have a lot to do with your fundamentals. The knowledge that you will learn of studying any subject or even giving this board exam, the fundamentals of the subject need to be strong. So go back and look at those fundamentals. If you need to use a highlighter, you like it better when you are able to draw a picture of the concept, use that so you are able to get the fundamentals right. Once you have the fundamentals down, anything that you build above that is just going to help you work on that and make that easier to understand. So you need to be able to ensure that the foundation of your subject is clear, which will take us to another point that I'll come to in a little bit. Why the foundation needs to be clear, because once your foundation is strong, any other topic that you learn over and above that is just then going to be icing on the cake. So keep that in mind. The regular revision, regularly going over your content is going to be critical in you building the fundamentals of the topic that you're studying. So therefore, we come to the other element, which is time management. All right. Time management is going to be your biggest friend, not only for your board exam study, but time management is going to be your biggest friend in everything in life. Planning is going to be perfect for you if you are managing your time right now. What happens is we have a lot of things we feel are pulling on our time. 
which means I want to be able, and because we're not in the structured situation of being in school, there is a lot of time that we end up spending, which is actually getting perhaps wasted on other things. In the first element of time management is when you sit down to study, please ensure you do not have your Instagram, your WhatsApp, your WhatsApp groups, your YouTube, <clears throat> or any other thing open at that time. I, you do not need to Snapchat this. You don't need to Instagram it. It's not required. You don't need to post one artistic picture of your textbook saying studying, hashtag board exam, hashtag stressed. Not required. You need to just focus. Anybody who is going to put aside the distractions is going to do better. That means go with the basics. I'm going to have to give these board exams. I need to be able to figure out how long do I have for each exam. If I have X amount of time for each exam, how much am I currently being able to cover of an old exam or an old mock exam to see where am I now? What do I need to work on? Where do I need to pick up speed? What are the areas in which I'm getting stuck? All of these will help you. So you need to be able to identify your trouble areas and you need to be able to break down the timing for your exam accordingly. You make sure that you know how long you're going to have to spend on each question. So any mock exam that you'll do, and we'll cover mock exams in a little more detail later, look at what is taking up more of your time. That means that's an area that you need to work on. So at the moment, set the timer, sit down and give the exam at the level of preparedness that you're at right now. That is not to freak you out. It is not to say, oh, oh, you're not going to be able to do it. The reason you're doing it to figure out without a hardcore amount of preparation right now is so that you almost have like a compass to help guide you. These are the areas that are good for me. They're going well. I just need to spend a little lesser time revising them. These are the areas that are actually going to cause me grief. I need to spend more time revising them. Is there a doubt? Is there a confusion? Do I need to do that? And I need to be able to then plan accordingly. So my planning becomes clearer. If I know there are certain chunks of the material that are coming to me faster, I'm able to answer those. I may need to spend relatively less time doing revision on them. So I'll be able to back that up. Okay. And so you need to be able to work through and work on that element as well. So that's one aspect that you need to be able to keep in mind in time management. You will need to be able to allocate in your time management time that you're spending on studying. You will need to allocate time like you do in school to study, to eat. You will need to allocate some time to rest. And it is absolutely critical that you get enough rest and sleep at night so that your body is able to create and your brain is able to put the things you've learned to memory. Otherwise, you will not be able to recall when it is required. So in your time management, you do need to factor in time for sleep and rest as well. Now, where does it mean? And when we talk about organizing, our time management becomes an important element in organizing. So keep all your notes in one place. Your desk should be sorted. Have the books that you need for that time in front of you. Keep your pencils, pens, notebooks, etc. ready there. Don't look, start looking. If you have to spend 15, 20 minutes, one hour to organize all your stuff, do that. Don't be suddenly in the middle of it going, oh, where is the worksheet for this? And start pulling it out of other files. Put things in an organized, systematic manner. When you're able to do that, half of your time management issue is sorted. More organized you are, the faster you will work. And it will become easier for you to be able to manage your time. You will not waste time looking for things. So the first thing is organize your desk. Organize your notes, organize the order your notes are in, keep your writing utensils and everything nearby, keep a bottle of water near you, keep something to eat near you and your phone and your music goes on silent mode for the time that you're studying. All right. And that is going to end up saving you time in your preparation as well. So remember, planning is going to be a very major element of what you do in terms of ensuring time management happens. How do you get yourself in the mode to study? You get yourself in the mode to study by fixing a time to get up and that fixing that that they're getting up time is not 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You are already getting up for class after your classes are done. 
You take that half an hour break and actually please make it half an hour. Not the time to get on Instagram and keep scrolling. Not the time to watch YouTube videos. Not the time to watch the next episode on something on Netflix or on Amazon Prime or anything else. This is the time you have to get really serious. All of those shows and everything else will still be there when your board exams are over. You will have plenty of time. And then imagine you'll be able to binge watch every single thing in one shot and it will be so much more satisfying. So just imagine that you need to be able to now buckle down. Important to be able to put that aside. Um, you want to be able to take a break by all means, but your social media will need to take a break as well for the next few weeks if not the next couple of months, okay? So, and everything will still be there. The world will not end. Um, and nothing will happen. You will still be able to do all of that and be the plan do planning. So when we were talking about mock exams, like I mentioned, doing a mock exam will allow you to be able to kind of compass your way into where you're at right now. So last year's board, the years before board exam, even mock exams of the possible entrance exams that you're going to do, do those. Understand where you're at. Look at the timings that required. Actually sit down at your desk with a clock, with the time set, the amount of time that's actually going to be there for the paper. Analyze the paper, mark the questions that are going to be easy for you, mark the ones that are going to be difficult that you think. Do the easy ones first. Go ahead and do the slightly more difficult ones. Now you're going to be left with the questions that are going to be really tough to do. Keep those in mind. If there is something that is very confusing, now you know you need to check back on something and you immediately have a point where you are ready and understanding where you're at. The other thing that multiple assessments allow you to do is to also be able to understand how you can keep improving your time. So what it gives you is practice. When What you're doing in essence is training your brain to get ready to focus for those one and a half, two hours, three hours, whatever the time frame of your exam is, whether it's an entrance or it's the board, and you be laser focused in that time frame. So when that situation is replicated and you're in a room where you're going to be sitting with people and or you're going to be working on something, your brain sees that paper, gets back into that training mode and does the exam from that perspective. Our mind more than anything requires that training. So when we get enough time to prepare and you have that, when we break down our subject matter, when we plan our day and we plan our week, our month, then we are able to make sure that we have the right point of in our compass to where we're at and what needs to be worked on. And you get a realistic picture. Say, for example, you did the mock exams and you realize that there are a few sections on which there is a lot of confusion in your mind. You're not being able to get the questions right. You're not being able to get it because somewhere there is still a doubt in your mind on the concept. This is the perfect time for you to request your teachers to be able to create a session for you when you are able to clarify doubts on a particular concept or you are able to utilize any other assistance that you can from uh, an outside source such as a YouTube video or a TED Ed video or a, or a Khan Academy video or any other videos that you use to help you study or another guidebook to clarify the concept. Sometimes uh, what helps is being able to speak to your teachers or to your tutors if you're getting help from outside to be able to just go over those particular concepts so they're clear and then repractice the mock exam to see how you've, do, you've done. But don't be shy about asking a question now saying, oh, I'm asking a question now. The teacher will think, why didn't you ask before? You should have asked that. Never too late. Always better to be able to put your ego aside and not worry about what anyone's going to think and actually clear your doubts. So it's going to be faster and better for you to be able to do that. OK, um, so you need to be able to ensure that you're getting that time frame and getting those questions cleared. One of the easiest way to figure out where your doubts are is do the mock exam. Your doubts become clear. OK, um, yes, you can. Naveen, definitely start. Um, you can definitely start to study for your exams even now. Never too late. You can't sit there and say, oh, up I have not studied. I don't need to study anymore. Up, we'll see what happens. Now we'll see whatever. Never too late. You never know. Don't see in a lot of the long distance runs. There are some people who are running for a long distance and you think, yeah, this guy is going to win. And then there's one guy who does this full spurt towards the end and crosses that guy. So don't. This, don't underestimate yourself. 
please sit down and start today. You know, whenever you start is a good time. So go ahead and start that. Please don't start the night before the board exam. Huh? The whenever you start is a good time. Start now. This is the important time to start because you have a little bit of time left. And a lot of your schools, the syllabus may be getting completed for certain subjects as well. So anytime you start is a good thing. But yes, you definitely have enough time to be able to start preparing even now. Don't get disheartened by anything. Definitely don't panic and think, oh, I can't study now. I won't be able to finish this. How will this happen? I'm going to fail. My whole life is going to be over. If I don't get this many percent in my board exams, everything will be over. Oh, nothing will happen. I'll not have a future. No, no matter what you do, no matter how much you work, no matter how much you score, there will always be some opportunity for you to explore. But having said that, it does not mean that you do not try your best. The option and the and aim of being able to try your best is simply this. You should have the opportunity and the option to choose where you want to go to study. You should have the opportunity to be able to look at like uh, the, the scholarship hunt to apply for multiple scholarships and know that you have so many different options because how much you're preparing and what you're working on is going to allow you to you for you to be able to choose which one you want to go for. So you have the control in your hands. If you sit down and get panicked and you get freaked out about what you need to work on, whether you'll make a success, what will happen? What if something goes wrong? Nothing will go wrong. If you start by planning today, you will 100% be able to achieve what you have set out to do. But the key is the success of this lies squarely with one person and that person is you. If you choose to study today, you choose to plan your day, you choose to plan your time, you are going to be able to do what you have set out to do. I keep saying this to a lot of people and I, I say this to my daughter a lot. Actions equal consequences. If I don't study, there will be a consequence. If I study, there will be a consequence. If I get up and I sleep on time and I plan my day, consequence. If I don't do that, there is a consequence. I have only myself to hold responsible. So ensure that you are allowing yourself the best possible opportunity. So like we said, you know, you have the prepared people. Who are the prepared people? They're not supreme geniuses. The people who are prepared are just the ones who planned properly. They spent time revising, they spent time going over their material, and they spent time going over the syllabus and breaking it down for themselves. Preparation is nothing but proper planning. So if you're planning starting today, even you are on the path to being able to do well. So there should be no freaking out that happens actually. If you are going to be in the unprepared category, then you will have to bear the consequences of that. Don't please try to be able to study two nights before a pre-board or a board. Allow yourself to be able to do well in the pre-boards as well, because remember, your pre-boards for a lot of your admissions outside of India will be used as the template of what you might be able to get and in what you might be able to score. And so your admissions abroad or even in some of the liberal arts colleges where you're uploading your transcripts, your pre-boards are what they're judging your possible final academic performance will be like. So do your best in your pre-boards as well. It will allow you to also be able to get better options when it comes to your higher education uh, opportunities. So give this your best shot. And then, of course, now after your pre-boards will be done, you'll be able to understand where you're at, what you need to work on. So remember, it's a, it's a test of what you remember, not what you know. So this is not a judgment on your knowledge. This is a judgment on your preparation and what you remember. Give yourself the best opportunities to remember. You want to be able to ensure that you're definitely not in the confused category. What am I studying for? Who is this? What paper is tomorrow? Do I have what class am I in? Please don't be in that category at all. You need to be in the category that is saying, I'm going to plan and I'm going to do this. Your friends, your family, your social media, your Netflix, your shows, your everything will wait and they will understand. So prioritize more than anything your own success right now because it is in your control. Yes, we have had a lot of things happen to us in 2020 that have been out of our control like the pandemic and otherwise. But even in that, how we reacted to it, how we handled it, 
whether we wore a mask or didn't, whether we did what or, or did anything or not, was in our control. So whether I choose to spend my time to study or I choose my spend my time to be able to say, I'm so tired, I need to take a break, I'm so stressed out, I'm going to eat, or if I take multiple breaks to go and get something to eat, or I avoid covering a subject because I don't like this subject and I don't want to study it, then you're going to have a problem on your hands, all right? So it's going to be important. Um, it's important to be able to figure out. Uh, I know that I so I see Dia saying that I I try my best not to panic. Of course, it's understandable to be nervous. I'm not saying you're not you, you're not supposed to get nervous or you won't get nervous. And I think a lot of the panic and the nervousness happens because they are um, because of the level of importance we give board exams and the level of importance that we do for that. But it is a great opportunity for you to be able to rem remember that as time goes by, as you learn, as you get admissions into good places, that a lot of it, what come down to is your work experience, what you're doing. And very many years from now, your board exams will only be some indication of your success. Your other work will be more an indication of what you're good at. However, at this stage, to give yourself the best opportunity, the best you can do is give it your best shot. But panicking will only make you move into inaction. So panic goes down when we prepare. If I'm prepared, I'm going to be less panicked. It's like when you have to memorize a poem or you have to memorize this thing for elocution. When you memorized it and you know it, then you're not as scared to go and say it. But if you know that I only spent 10 minutes doing this right before the assembly, you're far more nervous. So just keep that in mind. Panic can actually be gotten rid of by preparation. And I am 100% sure that you guys will be able to do that. Um, don't start think about, uh, Kriti, you brought up an interesting thing. Oh, oh, I should have studied three months ago. I should have done this four months ago. I should have studied more in, um, I'm, I should have studied more in class 10. I should have spent more attention in class nine. But unfortunately, that's done, no? What I have control over is now. So now I can turn it around. So I can turn it around even now. Nothing, no harm, no foul. Nothing is lost yet. I should have done something. Then is okay. Now I know better. All right. So I'm going to be able to use that to my advantage. So please ensure that you're not freaking yourself out. Yep, something happened in the past. Done, dusted, it's over. We can't do anything about it. But what we have can do is we can fix what we do now. What you need to be able to do also is be prepared to be able to understand the different steps that are required for different problems. Don't apply only shortcuts. A lot of you may be getting coaching for entrance exams um, and those that coaching will probably also focus on shortcuts that you can take for your boards. Remember, there are two things that will conflict in your mind. A lot of entrance exams will want you to do the shortcuts because there's no marks for showing your work. But before that, the only way you can actually apply a shortcut properly is if you know what the full method is. So for your board exams, you need to be able to, you have to also know what shortcut to apply, right? So for your board exams, you do need to worry about showing working because there are points given for working and showing working as well. So you ensure that you're doing that. When I know my entire concept and I can show my working properly, my shortcut becomes easier for my entrance exam. So make sure that you are doing that. Look at um, when it gets announced, where the exams will be held, what are the protocols that they're following, what are you allowed to take in, not take in, um, get your cards, your ID cards, your uh, identity proofs, all of those things in place in, in advance. Make sure if you want to have like, a, if they're going to say you have to have an e-adhar or a mobile adhar, download that, have it ready. So you're not worrying about those things. Get rid of those things off your list. Um, look at what are the what are the locations. Um, be prepared to be able to be in a room with a lot of different people again, um, which can sometimes be a distracting thing. But think about it. You were till now giving those exams a break of these eight or nine months should not throw you off balance when you are sitting down in a room with other people. But you'll have to, of course, make sure that you keep yourself safe. So whenever the exams happen, hopefully it is pro post vaccine. But if it is pre vaccine, you make sure that you have your masks on and things like that. So you want to be ready for conventional methods. So it's actually not even a bad idea to practice giving your 
board exam with a mask on and everything so you know what that's going to be like and you're not getting hassled in the middle of it so make sure that you're able to do that um in a board exam like i said your shortcut mode was going to be can prove dangerous so i know that in your minds when you're getting maybe coaching for a particular exam there is conflicting data that's coming your way that this is the shortcut you should use for this for your boards it's important for you to keep that full method down so practice when you're doing your mock exam for your board practice by writing out full methods for everything all right so um this is also now time to put away like we said a lot of the freedom of our time or a lot of the structure of our time that we got during this time like getting up late or being able to get up late if your school was not doing classes early or being able to stay up late at night uh watching more stuff online consuming a lot more media online um and doing that it's or, or eating at odd times uh is this is the time to um work on getting rid of them so structure your day properly fixed times that you have for eating fixed times for rest fixed times for study and if you want you don't have to sit down and say that you know i'm going to study for 8 hours at a stretch your brain will not absorb everything you do need to be able to chunk your work chunk it into 2 to 2 hour slots take 5 minute breaks in the middle go to the washroom drink some water eat a fruit but don't go on your social media don't go on your whatsapp don't go to youtube to check a new song don't say i will play my new music in the background no at that the 5 minute break is to allow the information to settle in your mind so it is said like sedimentation it has to settle so allow yourself to do that chunk your stuff make a list so i watched this very interesting talk that was there um on anybody who said that if you're getting panicked and stressed out about what you need to do you have to apply the same rules that an emergency room doctor applies so the rules that apply is uh, red is urgent blue uh, uh, yellow is uh, important but i can take care of it in a little bit and green is it's safe so put the things in your list accordingly and please don't put everything in red there will be some subjects that are going to be easier for you you can put them in yellow there are certain areas that are going to be green for you put those in green there are certain areas that are going to be important for you to carry out and figure out your doubts on put those in red and tackle those sometimes the red areas are the subjects we are not most comfortable with it is important like ripping off a bandaid to do the things you are not comfortable with first so they are off your plate and then you can focus on the subjects that you like so if i don't like um uh, i don't know maths as much but i have to take it and i have to take the test for it or the exam for it i will do my math studying first i'm not going to keep putting it off i'll do my math studying first get it out of the way then i can now focus on my chemistry and my physics or my commerce my accounts whatever it is that i like more and then i have more fun being able to absorb that but i when my mind is fresh when i'm ready to study i have worked on the subject that i know is difficult for me i have given it my maximum attention and my maximum energy and if for the subjects that are easier for me even when my energy is a little lower i know i'm able to keep up with it so make sure you do that and you're working on a systematic structure for your day as well which is going to be very important all right so it's important for you um to keep the planning going to keep the the practice going on a daily basis and uh, please definitely do the pre boards um and so now you're you're not you're like in the in the whole range of where the bulk of what you needed to do the last part of your scholastic career in terms of school is going to be over soon you're going to have a whole bunch of other exciting things to look forward to so the best best thing to do is to think about this that i want to go out the bang i want to go out giving it my best possible shot so i have the most number of options open to me and prepare as though you will have boards on the regular time boards are going to happen don't assume they're going to cancel something or oh, they're not going to do it yet or oh, they won't do it right now don't make any assumptions prepare as though you're going to give boards in february march and as though they were normally going to happen prepare accordingly that way if if there is a change and there is a cancellation or movement you are already prepared and then what you're doing then is consistent revision but don't make an assumption they are not going to do any board exams till april may we don't have to worry everybody is so confused government's not clear please don't think on anybody's behalf assume that the exams are going to happen when they will actually happen all right so you need to just be able to keep that in mind 
and keep that in in focus and you would be you will 100% be able to do that the key is you are available you are responsible you have the controls and you are in charge of what you need to be able to do and make your life easier on the other front which is being able to look at the scholarship hunt as well and for this i need my friend rakav to take over rakav the starring role as pd said is now yours thank you so much ma'am for walking us through that amazing exam preparation steps uh, i feel they are very useful because uh, i think one or two of them i could resonate with i mean i know the students might be thinking why is he resonating with this to be very honest i have not taken my boards too like it's not been too late you know it's only been a few years so those memories are still very fresh so i feel right now that and i, I suddenly think... feel really really old <laughs> <laughs> listen whatever you guys are talking about the director and the producer and the star cast please make sure when you roll the credits put my name also 100%. there okay I, your name is top sir what are you saying no no <laughs> i also did a guest role okay even if for 2 minutes or 5 minutes okay so just put guest appearance okay pd over to you raghav thank you sir thank you so much so as i was saying uh, i mean i do see you know my siblings uh, and her friends taking exams these days in between this in the middle of this pandemic and they're taking it online so you know one thing i've seen is they're all looking for shortcuts how can we copy it how can we just kind of you know look things up quickly uh i all i can say is you are being able to do it right now that's fine all i'm saying is like don't think about this one year right you've got four years of college ahead of you you've got life in front of you do not make this a step that's going to you know you're going to regret later just for that little bit of a shortcut don't take that step focus and study and i think that should help you a long way uh coming back to what you see on the screen now uh do not forget about the scholarship hunt we are giving you an opportunity to become a front runner in the scholarship race right before all the universities announce their scholarships we are giving you a sort of a sneak peek and an opportunity to get to those scholarships grab those scholarships before it is available for everybody else so become a part of this elite crowd who have access to them earlier so of course you can get a scholarship there are above 25 crores worth of scholarships over 3000 of you can be eligible for a scholarship to a top university you have seen those names already and top 10 students will be specially awarded scholarships by mindler i i see that there was one question earlier that okay if top 10 get these scholarships what happens to the rest so the 3000 are different that's what the 25 pro plus is the top 10 students it is a special award by mindler you get admission uh, not admission but in the university of course admission is conditional you get a scholarship to any university of your choice in india so do not forget that and it's absolutely free uh, i cannot iterate it any further it's absolutely free so go ahead apply for it today ask your friends to apply for it uh, communicate it with your parents with your parents friends ask their kids to apply absolutely whatever you can spread the word make sure you do it uh, anything else you would like to add sir Raghav, I'd like to add that uh, I see um, our young students have a lot of questions. Whether it's about anxiety, whether it's about preparation, it's about boards. What do I drop? Um, you know, like this um, Hamdan there. I'm thinking just to prepare for boards for now and take a drop and prepare for J. And if not, then will IP Mat be good choice? Definitely, Hamdan. Um, you know, if if if. please understand there is nothing called right or wrong here right uh, jessica is asking how do we apply jessica um, uh, there is a there is a link given here already um, on the on the chat itself apply now to the minder scholarship program you can apply directly that's one hamdan it can work for you um, if that's the way you want to do it um, so so raghav what i would like to add is all of them have Uh, like Deepa's email ID, your email ID, our uh, overall email ID. My request to all young ones will be: please connect with your Mindler team, or with any one of us, or write to hello at Mindler. Um, we will try and answer all your questions and um, try and help you out of this. All right. Um, all the best. Over to you, Raju. I just want to jump in and say. <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing you've forgotten how to copy in real life. Copy नहीं करते. हाँ. Thank you so much, ma'am. And thank you so much, uh, 
Preekshit sir, Shilpa ma'am for that amazing session. Uh, Nikita is yes. asking, Nikita is asking good engineering colleges that you are offering. We are not offering any engineering college. It's the engineering colleges are also offering scholarships. For example, I, I think to the best of my knowledge, uh, we've got, um, I think uh, we've got good universities like um, Amrita, we've got um, we've got um, SRM, we've got Manipal, there is Acharya. We've also got um, engineering or oh, Shivnadar is offering engineering programs. And you've also got a um, uh, very interesting. Uh, uh, um, Shulini does very good biotech yeah. programs. They are very good with their biotech. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Uh, Narsimonji, uh, NMIMS, uh, a lot of us don't know. But NMIMS is, is when it comes to Narsimonji, the first thing that comes to our mind is is business management or BCom or other courses. Um, it, it is another very well-known university as far as engineering is concerned. All right. So so yeah. So all all of them are part of the Mindler Scholarship Hunt. According to my information, will the board exams delay or not? All right. So so I'll um, as per my information, I'm I'm sorry. I the the, the, the information that I have is on on two levels. One is that the board officials are trying their level best. All right. Listen to this carefully. The board of officials are trying their level best to conduct the exams. However, spacing it out so that there is no it, it's not they, they basically want to create a conducive situation for them to be able to conduct exams within the same span. All right. That's their effort. Will they be able to do it? Uh, because there are elections, there are few elections, there are also pandemic, uh, there are so many other questions. So they are trying their best. However, if you ask me, I would say it's about 60 40. All right, 60%. There are chances that they may be able to conduct it, if not as early, but, but somewhere around 40%. I would say there are strong chances that they may be delayed. All right, um, but please understand, even if they are trying their level best, but there are a lot of other factors. All right. So so let's see. Are there any colleges for hotel management? Yes, um, we do not have our class 12th report card yet. Where are we supposed to upload? Oh, great. You are not supposed to upload your 12th class mark sheet. Why? Because you haven't taken the exams as yet. You are supposed to upload your 10th class uh, mark sheet only. All right. Uh, Yashasvi, you have anxiety while giving any test. Do you have any tips for the same? Shilpa has already talked about it. Um, my request will be, Yashasvi, you just go and check Shilpa's email ID is there. Why don't you talk about um, the area of concern? Write to her, write to Raghav. They will respond to it and um, and hopefully you'll be able to handle it. However, remember one thing. Even us, I mean, I, I can't talk about Shilpa because she's a very different star, right? She's like one of the <laughs> most coaches. I'm a very young uh, coach. However, when, even today, you can ask my team before the start of anything, anything. I still panic. Guys, listen, are we okay? Look at my face. Am I looking okay? And this, that. We still freak out. It's just that we've learned to live with it. All right. All right. So don't worry if you if you still have anxiety because all of us have. I'm sorry, I have it. Chilka is different. Chilka is like a born star. So so it's like. Thanks, PD. Total huh? born star it seems. But yes, Yashasvi, the only thing that you do need to worry about right now is ensuring that you're preparing. Um, sometimes the anxiety comes because you you get nervous just before and it's a very normal thing to do that but i'd request you uh, to also build in practices during the day that allow you to help calm down uh, it could be deep breathing it could be uh, thinking of a positive outcome so don't assume if everything goes wrong what will happen think about if everything goes right what could possibly happen sometimes our anxiety comes because we're thinking about all the things that can go wrong Try to be able to try. Thanks, PD. Try to be able to put down what could possibly go right. And that will also help calm you down a little bit. It's absolutely normal to be anxious. We all get anxious. We all get worried. But what you do need to remember is you also need to be able to build mechanisms for yourselves. And this goes for everyone. Build mechanisms that allow you to calm down and wind down 
during the day. So uh, allow that. So when you feel your anxiety going up, learn to be able to do something like, okay, I need to take a two minute break, take some deep breaths and be able to work and then start again. And that will help you. All right. So that is something that you can try as well. Right. So, but uh, please, by all means, uh, mail me. Um, it's shilpa at mindler.com. And then that's what you do. Uh, key to member revising accounts. Um, so that every day will have to be practiced, Jessica. It will be every day. It will be an every day. Accounts is something like mathematics every day practice. PD, any input specifically for this? I, would, uh, I remember when I wrote my 12th class exam, of course, that was a long time back. Uh, but but I remember just, just one little thing which I must share with you. Okay, very simple. See, you know, a lot of times the syllabus looks like, oh, my God, it's the entire world. No, it isn't. It isn't. Look at your maths or accounts and there are only these many questions and then the complexities and then every question then sampled. Right. On an average, let's say there are, for example, there are 100 formula. All right. 100 formula. Let's say I pick up five to 10 questions where the formula variation comes in. So which means even if five to 10 is about thousand questions. Trust me, if you do thousand questions, practice them. And then there are these mock tests or whatever your school prepares or some extra mocks. They will also have something like 400, 500 questions. So on an average thousand to fifteen hundred questions. Trust me, they cannot ask any question from up anywhere else. Where will they go? They are not. They have to conduct the exam from within the same material. So where will they go? So therefore, please understand. Uh, I know in hindsight, it looks easy when we were preparing. It looks as as like a Herculean task. But please understand that's what Shilpa's talked about. Right time management, pacing your like like the other day, you know, when when he was asked uh, when when uh, uh, when when your all right. The Pandya was asked that how, you know, when you look at 50 runs or 70 runs, how do you? He says, hold on. I remember all the times when I've done it in the past. That's one. And second is I look at it. It's OK. I don't think about 20 into so on. I look at it's 12 runs and over. So each over I have. to. So you have to pace your innings. All right. Um, over to you, um, Raghav. Thank you so much, sir. And, uh, I see a lot of questions coming out with, about anxiety. And although ma'am has taken the up already, I would just to put my two pens in also. So normally when we were taking our exams, so I remember before the exams, the way I got over my nerves was probably just talking to my friends. Honestly, just before the exam, I feel my friends were the people I could just talk to. Even if I was nervous, I would tell them, oh my God, I'm nervous. The fact that you said it out aloud has kind of taken it out of your system. So do that. These are very simple ways and that might just help you calm those nerves. So do try that. Right. So thank you so much. Take care. Be good. Are you done? Yes, sir. Great. And uh, enjoy and uh, laugh. Keep smiling and breathe and listen. If there is anyone, if there is anyone who can solve any issue, any concern, any challenge, my dear students, it is you. You can take heart. You can take, um, um, uh, you know, opinions. You can take advice. But if there is someone who can face these challenges and come across as a winner, that's you. And all of you have the inherent strength. You just need to work to get it out. All the best. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. Uh, the other questions that you're posting right now, please make sure that you send us those on uh, to hello at Mindler. So where they're able to get the detailed answers out to you and get those out to you. All right. So please mail. Thank you so much. Take care. Study hard and planning. Remember, panic goes away when you plan. All right. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye.